Coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to a brand new tutorial series called Game Math and Physics Made Easy. And this tutorial is is primarily aimed to programmers who really want to know the math and physics behind video games. But it can be aimed to anybody else who just wants to learn about math and physics. Um, I'm going to be often be making programming references so you can skip those portions if you're not a programmer. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to try to make this tutorial series as easy as possible. So, um, yeah, so just one thing to note, I'm using a bamboo tablet uh, that my girlfriend, my wonderful girlfriend bought me uh, for my birthday. And if you guys want to see me unraveling that, just search my videos, my birthday present and more. And um, I'm using Smooth Draw 4 to use this. Um, to draw now this is a combination I've never used before uh, so if you guys have any questions or concerns or you guys don't like the way I'm doing it just let me know um, so this tutorial is going to be rel re relatively short and in the next tutorial which is going to be next Monday so a new tutorial is going to be coming out every Monday so next Monday we're going to be learning we're going to be going in depth more about what we're, what we're learning today and what we're learning today is uh, is number systems and we're not going to really go in depth into it but we're going to be learning about different number systems and uh the different ones that are really relevant in the programming world we have our and sorry if my writing is not the neatest on this i do take pride in it but i'll so i'll try to make it as neat as possible but we have we have natural or whole numbers and in brackets, I'll put you int. We have integers. Put int in there. And let's say prime numbers. Sorry for the weird M. We have rational and irrational. And last but not least, we have real. And that could be a float or a double. Okay, so a natural or a whole number, the reason why I put uint, uint stands for unsigned integer. And as we know as programmers, an unsigned integer is any integer that is zero to whatever the max value is. In this case, a natural or a whole number is any positive whole number from zero to infinity. Now, what is a whole number? It is a number that doesn't contain any decimals, so it could be one, two, three, four, five. A whole number cannot be negative, though, so it cannot be negative, negative two, negative ten. Anything below zero is considered an integer. Now, an integer is any whole number or anything that is either negative or positive. So from negative infinity to positive infinity, but it cannot include any decimals whatsoever. Next, we have prime numbers, which means that it's a number that can only be divisible by one in itself. So like 17. 17, you only can divide it by one and 17. We have rational numbers, which is often confused with real numbers, but a rational number can be a number that can um, be used in our say a fraction or something an irrational number is something that doesn't really have a set value something like pi pi is used as a symbol and it goes on for life like 3.141519 whatever a real number is any any real number like as it states there is another number system I forget what it's called but it's for imaginary numbers such as the um, getting the square root of a negative number or something like that but that is beyond what are beyond what we actually need in this tutorial series so these are the prime things we're going to be using and the main ones we're going to be focusing on prime numbers is not really a name main one but I thought I should just throw that in there just as it, it is um, as a type of number system but we're going to be mainly working with reals um, integers, maybe a little bit of um, holes, and we will be looking at some of these, so we can kind of like cross out prime numbers for now. 
but I don't really want to get too in depth into it. But these are the basic types of number systems, and I yeah I think I'll end it there. So in the next tutorial, what we're going to be learning about is uh, four primary types of number systems in the programming world, and those are the decimal system, the binary, octal, and hex hexadecimal. So we're going to be taking a deeper look into them and we're going to be relating them to programming in the next tutorial, which will be coming out next week, Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys weren't too bored, but um, if you have any suggestions, don't forget to leave them in the comment below and don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe and bye for now.